Hello everyone, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel. This video will be a really quick update on Hitman Pro Alert, since a lot of you have been asking me about it in the comments, in the messages, everywhere. So you guys seem pretty alert about it. See what I did there? Let's move on. So this is kind of like a HIPS module, and I really like how they have two different user interfaces based on whether you're a basic or advanced user. The features include risk reduction, exploit mitigation, safe browsing, and the usual Hitman Pro scan. If we go in detail, risk reduction includes CryptoGuard, which is supposed to stop ransomware, keystroke encryption to prevent keyloggers, process protection, and more. So it does look pretty exciting. In fact, I've been testing this out for the last couple of days, and fortunately, I don't have everything on camera, but we will talk about a few things. So first of all, CryptoGuard. In order to test that out, we have the last three ransomware samples that we have looked at on the PC Security channel. They're all in this folder. They're all pretty good friends. Let's see if Hitman Pro can prevent them from teaming up and getting our files. So we'll start with Satana, which is terrible, and it just stops working. And this does not happen on a system which is not protected by Hitman Pro Alert. So some background activity is being blocked, which is why this file is failing to execute. Let's go ahead and try Petya. UAC alert, I'm going to accept. And now it says attack intercepted. Once again, the program crashes. And that's that. So two of our gladiators have already failed. Let's try out Loki, the newest one of them all, with a shiny JS file and see if it can work its magic. I mean, black magic, not the good one. As usual, the JavaScript loads up, and I believe it will try to download the actual payload in the background. Let's see if that is able to execute. No, because once again, the attack is intercepted. So all our three ransomware friends have failed to infect this PC today, and that's all thanks to this one zero-day component, Hitman Pro Alert. So you're probably quite excited right now. Maybe this is the thing. Bulletproof. Nothing can surpass it. Well, that's not at all true. I did run several malware files on this system and most of them failed. So the results overall were pretty good, I'd say. But I did manage to sneak in a backdoor. This is an active Trojan and it went straight through Hitman Pro Alert. Apart from that, I have noticed that it is uh, significantly ineffective against PUPs, and that is kind of understandable, because um, most of these features would not protect against that, but it's still a pretty good HIPS application, I'd say. Exploit mitigation, risk reduction, it pretty much covers most of the critical aspects when it comes to life-threatening malware, or should I say system-threatening malware. If this were a free application, I would not hesitate to recommend it, but keep in mind this is a trial. In order to buy the full version, you have to pay something like $24, I believe, and if you don't, then most of these features like CryptoGuard are going to be disabled. So in the free version, all you get is safe browsing, which really isn't a lot. Now that is what I have a hard time justifying, running this one extra HIPS application and paying for that. I mean, I think an internet security application should already have these things covered, and you shouldn't have to buy something else in order to provide these HIPS features. Having said that, if you want to go that route, this is a very effective application. It's very light, very easy to use. That's what I like about it. It's very professionally designed. So if it's your cup of tea, why not? Check it out. So that's going to be it for this incredibly short video. Believe me, um, I have been testing this product out for a couple of days. It's just that it's so difficult to 
create an entire video of a test because you don't know what to expect, especially when you're trying out products that are slightly different, like this one. But I do hope that you still enjoyed the video and found the information helpful. Now here is a very important announcement for TPSC. Since we have a great community over here, I've looked at the comments and I've looked at a lot of discussions which I think are really interesting and I'd like to offer more than I can currently cope up with due to this video format. I have been thinking of making a dedicated forum for TPSC. So please let me know what you think about it. I think we have a really unique community here and I think a resource like that would be very helpful going forward. Having said that, I do want to admit straightforward that I'm not very experienced at this. So if any of you would like to help me out, give me suggestions, take part in the development process, please contact me via email or send me a message on YouTube. I could really use your help guys and please let me know if the idea sounds nice to you. So there's a poll on this video, you can use the info cards, click on the i button on the top right hand of the screen and you should be able to vote in the poll. So let me know if you would like to see TPSC forums made into reality. That is going to be it for this video. I will let you guys focus. I won't be showing all those fancy things on screen this time. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for all your support. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, stay informed, stay secure.